The distance between each base is 90 feet. What is the distance for a throw from second base to home plate? All right, that's, that's one of the toughest throws to make in baseball, all right? As is the throw from third to first because you're in the middle of a square. The diamond is really, it's a, it's a rhombus in its own right, but it's also with four right angles, so it's built on a square. So let's take a little picture of what it will look like. Here's your home plate. We'll put it right down here. Here we have first base as you go to the right. And here we go to second. And here we go to third. Now if you got a shortstop, you got a shortstop usually somewhere between second and third. We can figure that out too. He's got not as quite a long as throw as what the third to first is or second to home because this is like a diagonal of a right triangle, okay? Or in this case, a diagonal of a square. And it's going to be like the hypotenuse of a right triangle because all these little guys are right angles here, okay? So let's go ahead and fix those up. It is the diamond, and they look like a base is there, all right? Actually, home plate's a pentagon. If you've ever noticed that, that's what they have. They have a pentagon for where the pitch goes over it. It's, it's an interesting feature of baseball and softball both, all right? But anyway, let's talk about what's going on here. We know that each path, this is a baseball, not a softball one here. Uh, some softball games are 60, and baseball, we're going to go with 90. That is your professional baseball distance, also collegiate. And that means we got 90 on all sides because you know it's the same distance from base to base, all right? The thing is, now we're going to draw in the length here, if you'll see this, from second to home. And it is quite a throw, folks. It is quite a throw. And we can do a couple of things here. It is a nice little right triangle. It is isosceles. And so you're going like, oh, I take geometry. I know the answer. I know the answer. It's a nine. It's a 45, 45, 90, because it's isosceles. If I say 90, 90, but you don't do that. You only have one 90 degree angle. It's all these 90s of links that kind of throw us off a little bit. You can use the formula that the hypotenuse, C equals A times the root of 2. In this case, it would be 90 roots of 2. Wow. And we'll figure out how long that is in just a minute, because everybody says, we don't know how to throw 90 root of 2 out there but that's how long it is. But it's basically 90 times that value of the root of two or square root of two if you want to go with that. That's what we've got. Now, another option we could do is to go with Pythagorean. If you all didn't know, where did that come from? That A roots of two formula. So that's one option. Or we could go A squared plus B squared equaling to C squared, all right? So we've got 90 popping in for A. We've got 90 hopping in for B. And we're gonna square both of those then add them together after we've squared, all right? That's a lot of numbering here, folks. That's 80, whoo, 8,100 plus 8,100, and it doesn't plus C squared. Thank goodness we don't want to add anything else to that. It equals to C squared. So we've got 8,100 basically doubling it there. So that's one, how about it, 16,200 equals to C squared. And you're all going like, say what? Well, let's do it. Let's call it a square root time. All right, let's make a square root of this big number. And I am going to tell you it's going to give us 90 roots of 2, but let's go ahead and figure it out and see what it is based on our, using our just good old calculator on this. So let's take it and let's clear off this thing. How about it? And let's find out what is the square root of, wow, 16,200. And it looks like it's about a hundred and... 127 feet and a little bit extra, all right? Those of you who are second base, or those of you who play third base and first base, if you have to throw across the diamond all the way across another base, uh, you, you're throwing about 127 plus feet. Now let's check and see if that same thing matches up with 90 times the square root, all right? So we're gonna take 90, and we're gonna multiply it times that square root of two, which I used by the formula. And let's see how close we are. Oh, we're exactly the same thing. That's another way to write 16,200, take the square root of that, and get 90 roots of 2. But the value looks like about 127. And why don't we just give yourself three-tenths of a foot there, all right? Whew, that's a long throw. That's a long throw. And like I said, shortstop, you're playing right here, you'd have a little bit, a little bit less, but it's still a pretty healthy throw if you're going to first base or you're taking it to home, all right? For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.